Hey guys, this is CVHD. Thanks for tuning into the website. Um, this is a basic video explaining our new primary aerial map product, uh, autonomous or manual uh, aerial flights and high resolution photos. Uh, the product provides a stitched high resolution aerial photograph of the entire mapping limits. Um, this video just kind of explains how we put it together, the specifications, uh, and the overall product that we uh, have started providing. Uh, the million dollar question um, before I get into this is what can these aerial maps be used for? Um, all sorts of use cases. Some of the more popular ones now are to get aerial imagery uh, that's more updated than Google Maps satellite images, which can be 5, 10, 15 years old. Uh, maybe we get a client that wants to update the imagery on their property, their township, their village. Um, pre and post construction maps are very popular right now um, for progress analysis, quantity verification. Um, farming has been utilizing aerial mapping to track their crops and yields throughout the year. Another huge one is GIS mapping for creating more updated geospatial engine aerial imagery than some of the outdated ones that are available now on the market. Other possibilities are utility marking and utility protection surveys, finding out where the utilities are after they've been located and marked before a project is designed or before a project is built. Another one is for engineers to lay out high accuracy CAD line work for design drawings. Um, as it relates to existing conditions on the site, uh, post-construction as-built surveys, finding out how accurate a project was built in terms of horizontal line, horizontal line work, etc. Um, it's being used a lot at rock quarries for aggregate stockpile quantity surveying. Uh, maps are being used by a lot of site safety compliance officers. Uh, they're being used in building inspection. Uh, so the possibilities are very extensive. Um, I will uh, get right into the video. Okay, first of all, uh, we want to point out we are FAA Part 107 drone UAV certified. We take that very seriously if we're flying around airports, heliports, other similar areas. Um, if it's not in compliance, we won't fly it. Um, before every project also we kind of go through a safety checklist uh, more on the ground in terms of traffic concerns pedestrians local authorities who might want to be notified any permitting processes um, high traffic situations etc uh, once we get through that process uh, we get right into setting up the mission uh, with the software there's two autonomous or manual technologies we use to set up flights. Um, we'll uh, get into the software, as you can see, here's one of them. Uh, we'll set the limits for the flight. There's a grid system that lets us know the track that the drone's gonna fly, so we can always stay ahead of where it's gonna be and stay in compliance with part 107. Uh, as you see here, it tells you how long the flight's going to be, how many acres, how many pictures it's going to be, how many batteries, what's the flight altitude, some other specifications, 2D, 3D, um, inches per pixel, uh, etc. There's airspace authorization here. This tells us, can we fly the flight? Can we not fly the flight? Which is great. If we can't fly it, can't get authorization, we don't make the flight. Here you see GCP boards, ground control points, we'll set on the site before a project, uh, and then we'll get the drone in the air. Um, some, some jobs take a few minutes, some maps can take over two hours. Um, we've done some highway projects that were four or five miles long. Those are a bit more intense and take more planning, but they're definitely possible. Uh, the drone's up in the air. It uh, kind of, as you can see here, it takes a multitude of pictures and um, to be stitched together at a later date, the drone returns to home um, and we will collect the drone and then collect the disc in the drone with all the photos. We'll take the ground control points with uh, high precision accuracy GPS receiver technology and then we'll get the photos up um, to the processing 
uh, technology, as you can see here. Uh, we upload the photos. The process will be stitched into one large map. Um, as you can see here, uh, this map has been geolocated and overlaid on a geospatial engine in the cloud, similar to Google Maps. This is sort of a cloud workstation that puts the tiles or the pictures together into one large map and allows you to work um, on it in a nifty, convenient online way. Here, we're zooming into a ground control point. This shows you that it hit right where it was supposed to. Um, these ground control points uh, really improve the horizontal and vertical accuracy of the aerial map, which can be very useful depending on the customer and what they're trying to achieve. Dimensional accuracy is very high, and not only is it um, horizontal, but it's also vertical as well. Uh, we can get in here and export a multitude of different file types with this particular photogrammetry software. The most popular here is OrthoMosaic. Um, a GeoTIFF, which these GeoTIFFs are actually GeoReference, so they can automatically overlay themselves um, where they need to be in certain geospatial engines and GIS programs. Um, here is just a standard Windows viewer where we've opened up uh, a map we did, and you can kind of zoom in and see. Um, so that's the basic overview of our base UAV mapping product that we offer. Um, this year we've been offering it in addition to our construction videos. Uh, like I mentioned, just a ton of use cases for these aerial maps and photogrammetry. Um, it's, a lot of this stuff is fairly new, so it's just uh, expanding every day. Uh, we service most of Ohio, Cleveland, Columbus, Toledo areas. Um, this little intro video is really kind of focusing mostly on two dimensions. Um, there's a whole world of three dimension as it relates to aerial mapping, um, 3D modeling, uh, and, and a lot of other cool things out there. Um, if you have aerial mapping needs, photogrammetry needs, uh, just reach out through the contact tab on our website and we'd be glad to uh, talk. Thanks guys.